Hey everyone, let's take a look at how easy it is to set start positions with the hotspots in SeekBeak. So we're gonna make a new tour from scratch. So I'm gonna click the plus button to add a uh, new set of images. I'm just gonna grab three down here that I took with me trusty Theta S the other day. Uh, this is going to be the kitchen. This is going to be the dining room. And this third one is going to be the living room. I'm going to click upload and we'll wait for that to finish. Great. So our photos have been uploaded and processed and they're ready to go. So I'm going to click on the kitchen one first because the kitchen has multiple entry points. And what I mean by that is at some point when we're coming back from the dining room here, we're going to be wanting to face a certain direction. And when we come back from the living room, we're gonna to wanna to be facing another direction. So SeekBeak makes that extremely easy to do. Now, if I just wanna set up simple navigation points in order to jump to another snap, after clicking the edit button here, I have this handy jump to menu. And if I open that up, it's gonna give me a listing of all the images or snaps as we call them that we have uploaded to our group previously. So I'm able to simply drag out the dining room one and place it right there I can spin around and I'm gonna take the living room one and how about right on that pillow there. Okay, now what I can do is I can close the jump to area and I can do a little bit of editing. So in order to edit a hotspot in edit mode, we'll simply click on it and we get this handy little slide out here. Now what we wanna look at is this new manage start point feature. Once this has popped open, we're presented with a 360 view of where the user is gonna be looking when they enter this next snap. So. In the living room, if we're coming from the kitchen, which is back here, if you remember, we're gonna probably wanna be facing the same way we would if we had just walked from the kitchen. So that is pointing right at this chair. So I'm gonna say set start point and accept. And I'm just gonna save that. So now when I click this living room spot, lo and behold, we're right into that room looking at the chair as we had set it in the previous hotspot. Now going back to the kitchen, we're gonna do a similar thing. I'll open up my jump to and I'll say, okay, let's go to the kitchen and I'll place the hotspot right there. I can edit that and again, manage start point and I can say, where do I want to start in the kitchen? And actually this was a pretty good suggestion. So I'm going to leave that approximately there and I'll click accept. And now if we go to the kitchen, right? That's where we were. Now we're here. And again, to the dining room, we can do the similar thing. When we get into the dining room, we're not gonna wanna start facing back at the kitchen because it will have been like we had just walked backwards. So we can be facing this uh, beautiful curtain here. Say so set start point. And now walking into the dining room, sure enough, it's like we've just stepped into the dining room from the kitchen. So let's finish this off, shall we? And we will add another hotspot, another jump to hotspot into the kitchen. And oh, look at that, it lines up so nicely. Let's do that. Kitchen and manage start point. And we would like to start facing this direction in the kitchen. Now, when I say kitchen, I kind of mean the counter in the kitchen. I only had a little tiny tripod for this shoot. So set start point, save that. And now when we go to the kitchen, sure enough, it's like we've just walked forward. So the kitchen now has multiple entry points depending on where you're coming from. So coming from the living room, entering the kitchen, we're facing this way. And when we're coming from the dining room, back to the kitchen, we're now facing this way, okay? It makes it extremely easy having this per hotspot navigation. You can create all sorts of uh, multi-linked rooms uh, without breaking the flow of your user walking through it.